Okay. okay, everyone, welcome back to Brez of Efrat here in Efrat, Baruch Hashem. It's so good to be back. And uh, we had a beautiful minion today again. Wow. Oh, I'm telling you, you know, when, uh, when I'm away, I also have a beautiful Nate's minion, but it's not the same. They're trying. They're doing a good job, but it's not the same. <laughs> Alright, Baruch Hashem. We have the Brach of Eretz Yisrael. Okay, so uh, today with the, with the, we need a lot of siyata de shmai always. We need a lot of heavenly assistance when we're studying because we're studying such beautiful, beautiful concepts from from, from Rabbi Nachman, uh, taught by Rabbi Nassim. And, and remember, we learned that beautiful concept that, that really all of the lessons that Rabbi Nachman taught throughout all Lakut Maran, right, the both books, all of the lessons is really based on the teachings of Tzillin, these premises of Chayim Arukim, lengthening your life, making the best of things, Erech Apayim, slow tanger, see, this is really the, the premise of all of the Rebbe's teachings. Hmm. So that's why they're so special to Rabbi Nassim, because really all of them, you'll find these concepts all through Rabbi Nachman's teachings. And it's so, it's so amazing. So look, now today, today we're up to, uh, we're in, we're in, uh, um, look at the halachas, halacha hey. We're in, we're in the, the uh, Halacha Hei 5, and we're up to letter 39. 39, Lamed Tes. Like we have the 39, uh, the, the, uh, uh, the um, rules on Shabbos, right? The 39 uh, laws of, that you can't do or things on Shabbos. Malacha Shabbos. 39. Because we, well, well, let's just back up for a second. We were talking before about Sari Menu. Remember, we were talking about Sari Menu. That she was able to, the Torah says that all of her life was Kulam Shavim Latayv. All of her days were all equal to good. She always saw, she always made sure to make the best of every day, to lengthen each day. And she made everything was beautiful in her life. So now Rav Nassim said, well, you know, okay, so now we talked about Sari Menu. Oh, so wait a second. Sorry, Maina, where she she was buried in Marasa Machpelah, right? And then we're going to learn who was Marasa Machpelah bought from. Why was it bought from him? Ephron, remember Ephron, mm-hmm. Achiti, right? Right? Ephron. We're going to learn a nice, beautiful, beautiful concepts now. Here we go. Right? With, Ash, with our, Again, with a lot of Siyata Dishmaya. Zebechinis Marasa Machpelah. This is the idea of the Maoras Hamachpela. What does Maora mean? It's a cave, right? I know we, we look we look at the we look at the we go to Chevron and we see that beautiful building, right? But really what is a Ma'ora? Ma'ora is a cave. And it's a machpel, it's doubled. Kofel. From the word kofel, it's doubled. It's a ma'ora, that's kofel. That's really what Ma'ora Samachpela means, right? Doubled. Now okay. Shekfula bezugas, because it's doubled in their pairs. Right? You have the different, you have, you have who, who do you have buried in, 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 in there? You have Adam and Chava, right? Yeah. You have Avram and Sarah. You have Yitzchak and Rivka. And Yaakov and Leah, right? Those are the four, you have four pairs that are buried in the Ma'aras Hamach Pela. Okay? Now, shall, uh, now, now therefore, therefore, I'll shame there, Nikras Ha'ir Kiryat Arba. So the city is called hmm. Kiryat. It's, a, it's like a city of Arba. It's the place of four. Why is it four? Because that's where Ma'aras Hamach Pela is. Four. So now we understand why Kiryat Arba, Arba, four. Right? Four. Kiryat Arba. Right? Four. Isn't it so nice? You see, we're learning here now. So, so, so do we call Hebron Kiryat Arba? No, Hebron is 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 this no Kiryat? Well, well, yes, it's it, Hebron and Kiryat Arba are really one of the same. Okay, it's, it's but even like today, when we we can we go through Kiryat yeah, Arba to get to Hebron, right? right? When we when we ride when we ride there when we're going to to, to Amar Samach Pei, that's how we go. And there's a new highway now. Oh, they opened it's it up. Opened up. It takes okay. fifteen minutes from the uh, from the Gush Etzion from the summit. No. Fish- 15 minute ride to the, Kiryat Arba. Bamet? No, you don't go through any villages. It's all highway. They opened it? They opened it up uh, right after you left. I think right, well, anyway, right around the time you left. 60. Let's take a ride there later today. 
I'm gonna go to I gotta go to Beit Shemesh. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm excited to see yeah. it. Wow. Yeah. Really? No more villages? No more traffic jams? No well, more... Uh, uh, traffic, okay. I, mean, I don't know about that, but no more villages. Okay, okay. Kiryat Arba. Okay, okay, okay. I'll shame Arba Zugas. It's because of the four pairs. So now we understand that, right? Isn't that so nice? But how does it have, what does it have to do with Tefillah? <laughs> we'll, see. we'll see. No, no, wait, wait a second. Don't we have... Two pair. We two, two pair of Tefillah. Two, two pairs of Tefillah. But even in the Tefillah itself, no, we have two, four. We have four, four parshas. And we have doubled, yeah, yeah. Right, you have four parshas in the in the in the head fillin, right? right, in the box, and you have four in the in oh. the arm. Right. So that means you have four and four. So that's doubled. Yeah. Oh, wait a second. So it's similar to Mar Samach Pela Kiryat Arba. Huh. Come on, who would ever think of figuring this out? We have it's four, so beautiful. We have four crowns on the shin too. Four crowns on the shin. In four straps. I mean, you know, it, it ends up being like four. No, three. Three? Because you have two coming down. Yeah. And then you have one on the arm. Oh, yeah, right, right. No, that's okay. So you have four of the parishes and the straps of the three. Like the shin of the three. Yeah. See yeah. that? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ki arba zuga is heim bechinas tefillin shal rosh or tefillin shal yad, because the four pairs are both the tefillin shal rosh and the tefillin shal yad, like we explained. Is that nice? Yeah. Ki arba parshis shal rosh heim bechinas arba moich in the duchra, because when it comes to the tefillin shal rosh, the four parshis is the uh, is the masculine aspect of the of it, which is which is. Which is uh, we learned, which is what's the it's called the zer, the zer anpin, right? The lower the lower seven midos, the lower seven midos, right? We have the we have there are ten in total, right? But the lower seven are the zer anpin. What are the lower seven? Chesed, Gevura, Tveres, Netzach, Hoid, Yisoid, and Malchus, right? Those seven. That's the zer anpin, right? Remember we learned that, right? The Arba Parsha shall yad, heim bechinas Arba Moich in the Nukva, the Arba Parshas, the four Parshas in the, in the, on the, on the, on the, that we wear on the, on the Tfilin shall yad, that is connected to the feminine aspect. Why is that the feminine aspect? Because we said, remember, that we said that, that, that the Tfilin shall yad was connected to the four, to the, to the four Zikanim hmm. that remember things of this world, right? Remember, remember what they were? Do you remember? Should we just recall? Real, should, we, should we review it real quick? Of this world? Yeah, yeah. Remember that he remembered when they when they cut oh, his yeah, umbilical yeah, cord. Yeah, yeah. He remembered when they, the the candle was burning in his mother's womb, mm -hmm. right? And he was able to see from me uh, oilam ad yeah, And then he would remember. No, no. He remembered being formed. He remembered his body being formed in his mother's womb. That was the third one. And the fourth one was able to remember the conception. I thought he could also remember when the seed was made. No, that's the, the next one. That's the next one. Okay, okay. No, no, that's the, oh, that's oh, already, oh, that's, oh, not, okay. that's not something from the world already. Okay. okay. That's the other yeah. aspect. Remember, okay. so the, the, those four were connected to the mother. Okay. And the same way, and we oh, said that, the mother. right, the mother. And the same way in the Tefillin Shal Yad, it's one box. And the parshas are in one box, right? So the same way the baby is inside the mother's womb in that cavity, in that cavity, the baby's in the mother's the same way the parshas are in the box. Mm. Isn't that so beautiful? Yeah. Mm. Really, when you understand why this is one box and that's four boxes, it, well, it's really one. The, the, the rosh is really one piece also, right? right? It's really one piece, but it's divided it's into four, right? It's molded into yeah, four. The four of this world. Right, right. No, that's the four. Yeah. No, it's the, that's yeah. the next side. That's yeah, oh, that, right, right. Okay. yeah, yeah. No, no, no. It's okay. Okay. Yeah. Arba, okay. So, so you, you understand where we're going with? It? I'm sorry, it's a little bit complicated, but it's not so complicated, right? Mizabechinas arba zugas, and that there you have it. You have the the four pairs, the four parshias in the tefillin shal rosh, and you have the four parshias in the tefillin shal yad kikiryat arba. Heim bechinas arba sheimos shall shall tefillin because Kiryat arba is the four names of tefillin. 
Kayadua. Of course, everyone knows that, right? When you say Kiryat Arba, you're talking about your tefillin. Okay. Huh, how you like the Kayadua? Rav Nuss says everyone knows this. Like, I'm just telling you everything everyone knows yeah. anyway, right? <laughs> it's beautiful, right? And some people say. No, but no, but, but, yeah. but you have to yeah. be, you have to understand yeah. something. It's no, it's no, but this is coming from the Tikkun Zaya. The Zaya says this. Yeah. Okay, so and then as today, today when we we can we, we ride through Kiryan Arba, I mean, we don't really have the. Oh, it's a place, but but it's so much deeper than just the place itself. It's much much deeper. Why is and you see how important the name is for everything. You see, and it shows us how important the name really is. The name really defines the essence of the of the person of the place. You feel you hear this? This is amazing on the concept. The name. It's all in the name. Kayadua. Rab Nelson says Kayadua. 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 It's known. Everyone knows so, this. Oh. Everyone knows this. Yeah, like like Aniodea Kayadua, as it's yeah. known. As it's known. Everyone knows this. Okay. Now, Baal K Nikras, and therefore it's called Ma'aras Hamach Pela. Now we understand why the Ma'ara is called four also. It's a ma'ara that's double. It's doubled. It's doubled. It's it's it, it, yeah. Al shem hachayim arukim shel hatzadikim shekedushasam vechiusam kiful tamid. Why? Because of the tzadikim that are there, the tzadikim that are buried in the amara samach pele. That their holiness and their life is doubled all the time. They were always they were always working on make, make doubling their time, making their time count. The, the tzaddikim were always like we learned about Sari Menu, right? Sari Menu was working every day to make her day more, more to, to, to lengthen it, lengthen it. Ki bechol pa meisifin kedusha al kedusha, because every time that they were adding holiness to the holiness, they were always adding on it, always adding, always building on it, building and building something, something so special, such a beautiful edifice. Tshuva ala tshuva, the same concept that we learned, tshuva ala tshuva. Right? We do tshuva, and then we do tshuva on the tshuva that we did. We're never finished. We're never finished. But remember something. HaKadosh Baruch Hu loves that. HaKadosh Baruch Hu loves the fact when we make tshuva. Right? Because tshuva was kaidim le'olam. Right? HaKadosh Baruch Hu made tshuva before he made anything in the world. Before the world came about, he had the concept of tshuva. You could return. You can come back. You can come back. So that's why it's so special to come back. That's why it's so special. But not only is it special to come back, once you came back, do tshuva on the tshuva that you did originally. You hear how beautiful that is? That was Hashem. I didn't really know. I didn't understand what it was then. Yeah, I said I was better. sorry, but I had no idea really what it was. I didn't know. Hashem, I had no idea. Now I realize what I did. Wow, and that's how I apologize to you, Hashem. I'm sorry for the way I said I was sorry. <laughs> you know, like, remember that when, we, when we're kids, you know, the, your parent will tell you, say you're sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, you know, you know right? You know, begrudgingly, right? 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 Remember that? You remember sure. that? You, you did that, David? Yeah. I remember. Mordechai, you did that too? Yeah. Say you're sorry, right? But that's what we yeah, are. I we, never did that to my kids. I no, no, no. But you, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, no, but why? They, no, so we're learning this chuva on chuva. You understand? Right. So that kind of sorry is not really that meaningful. Right. So we have to, you have to do, we have to go through that so you can understand this concept. Yeah. That you said you're sorry. Well, I said I was sorry, but was I really sorry? Right? Was I really sorry? Or I was in I was afraid that if I didn't say I was sorry, I'd be in trouble. <laughs> I'd really be sorry. <laughs> but then that's a, but number one second, but that's the same yeah, thing with Hashem. Same, yeah. In other words, did we say we're sorry to Hashem because hey, I'm afraid I'm gonna be punished for what I did? Is that why is that why I said I was sorry? You understand it's the same concept. Right. right. I, I I know it seems silly that we're talking about that, but I'm just trying to understand No, no, I'm trying to understand the concept here. In other words, why did you... So let's think about that for a second. Why does that kid say he's sorry? Even yeah, the way he says yeah. it. He's afraid that he's going to be... He's going to get... A, he'll be punished. He won't get his candy. He won't get this. So he'll get... It, he'll be put in the corner. Whatever the case is. He's afraid. On his level. Right? The little kid's afraid on his level. But that's us too. 
So we hear, we hear, oh, I did this thing wrong. Oh, no, I'm going to be in trouble. Hashem, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't get it. I, I, I'm sorry, Hashem. You hear what? You see the, you see the, the, the connection? But then there's tshuva on the tshuva. When I realize how bad it was, right? Like mm-hmm. you punched, like you punched the other kid, right? Or you, or you called him a funny name, or whatever, whatever you did, right? But then you didn't realize really what it was. You realize what 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 what, what a psychological effect it's going to have on the other child, mm-hmm. right? That you did this thing, right? We don't understand that at that time when we're going through it. So we don't understand the ramification of what we don't necessarily did when it came to, to, to Hashem also. So that's why it's the concept of always doing tshuva on tshuva. And then in, while we're doing haris bodhidus, that's a beautiful thing. You know, sometimes you think about something during the day. So we said that if you th- thought about something during the day, you don't, you don't engage it during the day. Remember, if you thought right. about something you did years ago, whatever it was, you don't engage that during the day. You wait till your time of his bride does, and then you speak to HaKadosh Baruch Hu then. That special time. In that special time, that's when you talk to Hashem. And then you can say, yes, I realize, Hashem, I didn't realize what it was. I didn't realize. So I'm so sorry the way I said I was sorry. That's tshuva, Allah tshuva. That nice concept, most beautiful concept. Yeah, it seems like that could go on. It goes on forever. Forever, yeah. Because then you realize that you know, you learn Hashem then. more, and you wow, Hashem, I didn't realize. <laughs> and you say you're sorry again. But Hashem loves that. That's tshuva on tshuva. You're building on the tshuva. See, we're talking about building on the kedusha. Here we're talking about um, building on the tshuva. I'm building on the tshuva. I'm building an edifice from my tshuva. I'm making it something so special. Right, because we said we, when we take when we when we when we do tshuva, we take the zod, then we take the iniquity, and we turn it into a merit. Right. So we, we turn it into a diamond, right? We turn it into a diamond, but we keep polishing the diamond. We keep we cut the diamond better. We make it sharper. We make it more bright. We make it. We're working on it. That's tshuva on tshuva. You're making it more special. You're building on it special. And that's the way you can fulfill the Torah. That's how you can fulfill Torah. As it, as, it, as, it, as the Torah is known, it's always known as Kiflayim, doubled. Right? We're learning now, we're in, what, what Sefer in the Chumash we're up to? Now we're up to Devarim, right? Yeah. What's Devarim? Mishnah Torah. What's Mishnah Torah? It's the review. It's Moshe Rabbeinu giving us a review of Torah. That means we got, we get it a second time. We get it a second time, right? We had the Aseris Adibras last week, right? We just laid the Aseris Adibras, right? But we read the Aseris Adibras in Parshish Yisro, right? But we, again, because that's how the Torah is. You get the, in doubles, always double. The Torah is that way. You understand the way the Torah is given to us. Mechines ki chal beisa lavush shonim. As 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 the as as we we say in the in the in the beautiful Aishas Chayel every every Friday night right remember these words Kichal Beisa Lavu Shonim because our whole house is dorned dorned in white Lavu Shonim right but don't read it Shonim read it read it Shnayim read it as two read it as double double the whole house was doubled doubled everything was doubled why. Like it's like when we do when we do when we, when we give tzedakah, it says pesayach tiftach. Open your hand twice. It says it twice. Ha'anik tanik nasan tite. Look the double lushen. Everything. That's why people only put in the tzedakah box. Two hands. Two hands. Oh no, that, that's that's something else that's also. Something else? No, no. Rabbi Nachman says use two hands. So when you take your gvura and you and you force it to do something good. Uh. Right, the Gvura says, no, I don't want to give the tzedakah. No, the Gvura says, it's my money. I don't want to give this away. No, you, you, come on, let's go. <laughs> and you make him give it. Mm-hmm. You make him give it. Right, you make him give the money. You know, it says, that the, the, Ramb- the, Rambam, the Rambam said that, uh, you know, if a person, so, some people are just very giving people, right? They just like to give money, and they're very, very giving. But some people, they, they have to work on that, right? It's mm-hmm. hard for them. Mm-hmm. So the Rambam says, so the Rambam says a person is working, is working on 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 uh, fixing himself. So then he should do is if he let's say he wanted to give he wanted to give uh, uh, ten dollars, 
let's say you want to give ten dollars for tzedakah. We'll use ten dollars, okay? So the question is: Do you give ten dollars to one person, or do I give one dollar to ten different people? Now wait a second. You gave it's the same ten dollars, right? On, 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 on one aspect, it is the same, right? Because when, when, you, when you balance your checkbook, at the end of the day, it's going to be the t- same $10, right? If I gave $10 to one person, or ten dollar, $1 to 10 people, right? But the Rambam says, but by doing that, you're, 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 you're training yourself. You're training yourself to become a more, uh, to be a Baal Chesed. You're training yourself. You understand? Now, because on one aspect, you may say to, you may say like this, you know, if I give $10 to one person, and he's a poor person, so he can take his $10, he can buy himself lunch. Right? He can buy himself a sandwich. He can buy himself something with the $10. But if I give $1 to 10 people, really, what am I accomplishing? What could you do with $1? Right? Yes, yeah, so on, on, the, on, the, on, the give, on, the, on the receiver's end, it's better to get a lump sum. But, if, but again, the Rambam's teaching us that if you want to teach, train yourself, if you want to train yourself to be a giver, so then you give 10. Give it 10 single dollars, give $10 to 10 people, rather, and do, use both hands. <laughs> now you're training yourself, you're training yourself, you're fixing it, you, you understand? And that's the difference, that's the difference, okay? Uh, okay, I don't know how we got to Okay, anyway. Kimai Shamra Besei Nuzal. Bechinas Mishnah Torah, like we just said before, the Mishnah you always review your learning, always review it, right? The main thing is to review your learning. If you want to remember your learning, you have to review it, right? The Gemara says it's not, it's not you can't compare a person that studied a hundred times he went over his learning to a person that went over his learning a hundred and one times. What do you mean? I did it a hundred times and hundred. No, the Gemara says no, no, it's not comparable. It's really the same thing with two and three. There's no comparison from two to three. The Gemara is just using a hundred to hundred and one. They want to raise the bar, right? Start review it a hundred times. Now you did a hundred and one time. Wow! And guess what? Hundred and two is better than hundred and one, <laughs> right? The bechinas lechein ba'artsam mishne yiroshu, and therefore in the land we have everything is doubled also. Mishnah is da gezuntayt la buyut. You should kafu la mur some leiven. Okay, she calls there who bechinas chayim arukim. All of this is the chayim arukim. Oh wow, welcome, welcome. Chayim nitzchim, chayim nitzchim. It's etern our eternal life. She zayichin tzadikim haydei shemaisifin the kaiflim kedushasam bechol yoyim. And that's how it works because each day the tzaddikim are always working on doubling their time, working on doubling the making their time count. They're working on making the time count. The whole ace. So we're learning this beautiful concept uh, today of, of uh, why uh, why uh, the Ma'ara uh, Samach right? And why is the city called Kiryat Arba, right? And you know that Kiryat Arba is another name for your tefillin. Yeah, it's tefillin. Rabbi Nelson says everybody knows that. Right? Everyone knows. You say, Kiri Adab, you're talking about your tefillin. Why are you talking about your tefillin? How many parshas do you have in the head? In the, the rosh? Four. And you have four in the R. Oh, wait, wait a second. Kiri Arba. <laughs> What's Kiri The city. It's like a city. No. Okay. The city, Kiri Arba and Hebron. I understand. Right. So why is it called Arba? Why? What's that? Where's the shalosh? What shalosh of what? You have four. You have four parshas. Four and three. No, you have you four. No, no, the Arba. four. The shin. The shin is four and three. It's Your parshas are four and four. In, in, uh, in the head is four, and four, the, and the same four are in the in the yacht. Same four. See, it was a good thing you came just to learn that today. And it's and four and four. It's the exact I, same thing. Every time I look inside, it's filled. Did you see that? <laughs> Okay. Baal came kon the Mara Samach Pela, and therefore, therefore the Mara Samach Pela was bought from who? May Ephraim. It was bought from Ephraim. Look at the name. We're learning here about how important the names are today. We're learning about names. Why it's called Kiryat Arba. 
Why is it called Ma'ara Tamach Pela? Right, doubled. Now, now I'm not going to say, wait a second. Now let's understand, Avram Avinu b- b- bought the Ma'ara from who? From Ephro. Why is his name Ephro? It's his name, right? What's the big deal, right? His name is, this guy's name is David, his name is, his name is Boris, this guy's name is this, this is that. That's his name, Ephraim, so what? Oh, wait a second, wait a second. Ki Ephraim u bechinas offer. Ephron has in there the name, the word offer. Dirt. Dirt. Bechinas hara hanechas be a side offer. We know that the world is made of four different uh, Four different elements. 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 I like the word good. Elements. And what are what are the four elements? We have we have uh, fire, we have we have wind, water, and offer dirt. Right. That's what really makes up the entire the elements of the entire creation. <clears throat> okay. Bechinas v'nachash offer lachmai. Wait a second. What happened? Remember when the Nachash uh, uh, convinced Chava to eat from the Eitz Adas Tovara? And then Adam ate from the Eitz Adas Tovara. And then when it all boiled down, HaKadosh Baruch Hu cursed the, the, the Nachash, then what should his, his curse be? He should eat dirt. Isn't that interesting? Eat dirt. Why eat dirt? Yeah. You ever think of it? Why should that be? That's, that should be almost a blessing. If he can eat, if the Nachash can eat dirt, and that's how he can, he can, be, uh, he can survive, maybe that would, someone would say that's a blessing. Wherever you go, there's dirt. So that means anywhere the Nachash would be, he has food. But why did Hashem do that? Hashem didn't want to hear from the Nachash. Hmm. He didn't want to hear from the Nachas. I don't want to hear from you. You destroyed my whole, you, you caused my whole creation. Look what you did to me. Look at the, what you did to my creation, Nachas. Look what you did. So now you eat dirt because I don't want to hear from you. Don't pray to me. Everything else prays to so God and eat food. So then our entire premise, or I have whatever issues in life, is backwards. It's backwards. You, you only have the issue no to pray issues, to God. Then uh, you don't pray to it's God. Like a... It's a curse, right? If you have no issues in life and everything is going perfectly, and you have nothing to pray for, that's the that's the nachash. That's so crazy. <laughs> we flip the whole thing around, right? Isn't that amazing? Hashem, all He wants us to, is to, to pray to Him. Hashem wants us to daven. He wants us to daven. He, wait, he waits for us to ask Him for things. So Hashem makes us lack something so we can ask Him for it. Isn't that so beautiful? V'nochash offer lachma. Look at this. His f- sustenance comes from dirt. Hashem said, I don't want to hear from you. I'll give you, you have food all the time. Eat dirt. V'bechines for offer toichel. Now what is that? This is when it's talking about atzvus and atzlus when it comes to when it comes to depression and laziness, right? The, the, the earth, the earth is right. It's just on the ground. The, the earth pulls someone down. It makes him feel depressed. We're buried in it. We're, we're buried in it. Okay, atzlus, lazy. The dirt doesn't want to move. It's lazy. That's where the laziness comes from. The kvedus hanimshuch mehara should be a soyed offer, and where does that come from? That comes from the from the from the the ra, the 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 the, the evilness that's found inside the offer. So offer itself, the dirt itself, is dirt. This and it, there's good part, good properties to dirt, right? If I if I if I take seeds and I put it into the dirt. And I and I and I water it, and it gets its sun. I will get a plant, right? I can get fruits. I can get vegetables. I can have sustenance from it, right? So the earth has a good property uh, premise to it, also. But the has a, the, the 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 negative aspect of the earth is it just draws me down. It pulls me down. It pulls me down to feel lazy, to feel depressed. That's earth. Why? Because that's connected to the nachash. 
That's his food. That's his sustenance. So Iker Nim Shachas Hanachas, that's where the Nachas sets in. He tries to make us feel depressed. The Nachas wants to make us feel, wants to make us feel lazy. We can't. Rabbi Nachman speaks a lot about this in lesson 189 in Lakute Maran. If you want to see it in lesson 189, he talks more about this concept of the offer, why it's offer, why is it connected to, to Atzvus and Atzvus, like, we would, like I just explained to you. Yes, you want to say something? I'm, I'm a little confused about okay. the crust and uh, lace. The normal image of a hard-working person who wakes up and at the time when you're uh, about to go to sleep, yeah, he's a peasant, right? He gets up at 3 o'clock in the morning, morning feed a cow, Milk uh, goat. Whatever he has to do, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's or, not a definition or of lazy. Or, lazy is... or tzaddik gets up. No, no, I understand. That's fine. Um, but tzaddik is, uh, is a metaphysical conversation. Of the, the earth dwellers, the earth, no, no, peasants no. who are working on the earth. No, 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 you're, so you're, you're missing, no, no. We're, we're saying yeah, that earth yeah. has, a good, has a good property to yeah, it. But you said it's... Uh, but it also has the negative. There's also the negative brush. properties to it. Yeah. The negative property is to it. Where, where does it come from in the world that people feel lazy, yeah. sluggish? That's from, the, that's from the property of offer. How? Because, again, offer just sits on the ground. It just sits there. Uh, it doesn't it's, do it's anything. Not it's not moving. Water moves, Right? Water is moving in the stream, right? The water is moving. Air is moving, right? Fire. Fire is going up. Offer just sits there. It sits there. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't do anything. So that's the premise where, where laziness and depression comes from. I can't change. You see, I know that's the thing. I can't change. That's Offer. Offer says, no, you're here. That's it. You can't change. You can't change. That's where it comes from. I'm lazy. I can't move. I don't feel like I want to move. I don't feel like I want to do anything. That's offer. That's what offer means? Is that Dirt. It means dirt. Offer means dirt. 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 That's what dirt does. It sits there. Just sits there. Right? We said, right? Because the fire is moving. It's jumping. Right? The water is moving, flowing. Right? The wind is always moving. Right? The wind is blowing. The definition of what this is is yeah, the wind is moving. If it's not moving, it's, it's, not, it's wind. not wind. <laughs> okay, so you see, you answered. You see, you answered yourself. No, no, uh, I didn't. You did. No, 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 no. But you, you understand it. Do you understand it now, right? No, but so, you would think we're not saying no, no, but premise. no, but I did. We also did say. Wait a second. We also did say that you can use the earth in a good way. You put the seeds. Well, you in. can use almost everything and, in the good ah, way. Ah, that's the point. So that's what we're learning. That's the point. But the, but if the la- the earth but is lear- defined by laziness and depression, then no. But the, no, the reason why we're talking about offer is because Ephron, Ephron, oh. Ephron. His name is Offer. Ephron has Offer in there. You hear it? Ephron. Yeah. Iron pay right, right. It's it's in there, right? Ephron. It's in there. Offer is in Ephron. Why is Offer in Ephron? Because Ephron is connected to the Nachash. What does the Nachash eat? The snake. He yeah. eats. Offer, dirt. Why is he eating dirt? Hashem says, I don't want to hear from you. So we learn the other aspect. Hashem says, I do want to hear from you. Because you're going to plant your seeds and you're going to pray to Hashem that it's going to grow. You understand? Hashem wants us to use that, to use that negative thing, to use it in a positive way. Beautiful. Take the dirt, plant, now pray that the rain comes Right? You pray that the Masha Baruch Marit Ageshem. Right? In the wintertime, we pray, give us rain, Hashem. We need rain because I planted. I need rain. You give me rain, it'll grow. Hashem provides the sun. Every day the sun comes out. I need my rain. Hashem <laughs> wants us to daven. You understand? That's what it's all about. But the snake, the, 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 the Nachar says, now you don't have to daven. Hey, hey, eat dirt with me. <laughs> the Nachar says, no, no, no. Eat dirt. No one wants to eat dirt, right? Nobody wants to eat dirt. Only, only the nachos, right? Little, little kids. Nah, they play with dirt. They don't eat it. They don't eat it. They play with the dirt. They play well, with I, it. That's that's not a very valid statement. Nobody what do you mean? Wants to eat dirt. So what? 
Okay, I mean, <laughs> what, what? No, I mean, uh, we're not made to eat dirt, so we don't want to eat dirt. I understand. Uh, yeah. And so, I also don't want to eat uh, a lot of things that Asian culture eats, right? Okay, uh, okay, but we're not talking about, okay. Yeah, I understand what you're saying. We're, we're, we're discussing that an offer is not is something that the snake eats right. and the snake is nourished by, right? He gets his nourishment by this by the offer, mm -hmm. but human beings cannot, Correct. right? Even if I had no, when, when people don't have food, they can't eat dirt. It won't work, right? We can't process dirt, yeah. right? The knockers process it and he survives by it. That was his curse. That wasn't a blessing. To some people say that would be the biggest blessing after David. <laughs> but then that comes from the offer itself, that he would have that premise, that someone would think that way. That comes from the earth itself. Stay with me lazy. I'm just lazy. I don't move. I don't need to do Maybe anything. That's why COVID a couch happened. potato, right? Maybe that's why COVID happened in a way. I mean, okay. Okay. Why? Because people couldn't breathe anymore. They couldn't breathe. Huh? So they had to... Uh, Okay. Aspect, no? Okay. No. By a day, okay, now it says, and how do you, so now how do you subdue this? So we learned all about this offer and, 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 and the, negative, the negative premise of, of the offer. But how do you, what, what do you do about it? How do you, how do you subdue it? Ayadeh Yisoy the offer Shebekdusha, Shehu Bechina Semuna. If you use the offer of holiness, the offer of the Shebekidusha, you use the, the dirt in a holy way, which is emuna. Like we just said, you plant, you daven. You need emuna. You have to believe in Hashem. Right? By believing in Hashem, you daven to Hashem. If you don't believe in Hashem, you won't daven to Hashem. Right? Why do you daven? We're only davening because we believe that Hashem is listening to our tefillah. That's why we daven. That's emuna. Tefillah is emuna. Right, the more you put into your tefillah is the reason why do you put more into because you have more emuna. The less you daven, the less emuna you have. You think it's only it's a, dependent on me, right? People think that, right? They tell us, I'm going to go. I'm going to go to the, open the store early in the morning, right? I have to be there early in the morning, even though no one's going to show up, right? They know it's too early, no one's going to, but they're there anyway. I'll be here. I have to be here. It's dependent on me, right? Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, I, <laughs> I, I know, I know, I know an attorney that, that, that in New York, he was a fun, I, I would talk to him all the time. He was always going to his office early in the morning. He had to be there. He had to have to be in the office. Have to be in the office. <laughs> Who's going to call you in the morning? Why, why do you, what are you driving yourself crazy for? No one's there. Yeah, who's going to call a law firm before nine o'clock in the morning? Right? No, no one's going to call a law firm before nine o'clock in the morning. The guys have to be in his office at seven thirty. <laughs> well, only said somebody that he wouldn't want to talk to anyway. He didn't want to talk. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's what it's. So the whole thing is a muna. It's a muna. Shu bechinas shochein eretz urei emuna. Dwell in the land and see emuna. Dwell in the land. Dwell in eretz Yisrael. This is the land, right? Dwell in the land and see emuna. See Hashem in the land. See Hashem. Right? You see all the turmoil that goes on in the government. It's the most dysfunctional government possible. Right? The biggest buffoons possible. Right? They can't get anything right. But yet, look at the country. Bo Hashem. Where everything is running nice. Is it because of them? Obviously not. Live in the land and see Amuna. You see Hashem. Because you see, you live here, you know it can't be them. It can't be them. You see the way they carry on in the Knesset? Unbelievable. I once saw a video of that. that they, they, <laughs> it's like a chicken farm. That's, they're, they're running the country. These guys are running the country. Obviously not. It's Hashem. And then they wonder why half the country doesn't want them to have more power. <laughs> They, they see them as being be idiots. <laughs> I'm, I'm giving the left a little a little quick credit for. Why? They're just a bunch of buffoons too. Doesn't matter. 
They don't, it means no, it's they don't see what the ju judges do. The judges are, they don't see them. They're, they're even bigger. They're, they're, they're bigger idiots. They are bigger idiots, but they don't see them. They see the Knesset every day, and, and they, they're fighting. And physically fighting. I mean, they're, they're, they're kids. Shachin Aretz or this is the main thing. Live in the land. It's all in the land. It's in the offer. It's in this land. Right? We, 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 this, this place is a desert, right? But yet, everything grows here. Right? Yeah. We get the most beautiful vegetables, beautiful fruits here. Right? Come from here, right here. It's Hashem. It's Emunah. We dive into Hashem. We see Hashem in the land. That's why we're here. And there's hardly any water. But yet everything's growing. Everything grows. Everything's growing. Yeah. Bechinas offer mana dechulu. That that uh, the offer is the is the kli is the vessel that that really that really all kedusha the higher kedusha comes from when you use it in the right way when you live in the land and you plant and you dive into Hakadosh Baruch Hu, you have to go uh, okay okay shall you day muna bechinas offer the kedusha through offer the kedusha. And you come to the to the to the aspect of of the koyach that, that that it can grow. You know that there's a malach, there's a malach that tells that tells every little blade of grass, Gadel, you can grow. You can grow. A little seed, a little seed's in the ground. And he tells that little thing, you can grow. And he grows. It encourages He encourages it. He encourages him. You can grow. You can grow. You can grow. Little the Malach tells the seed to grow. Is that amazing? A little seed. What is it? It's nothing. It, it, it disintegrates, right? It turns into nothing. And a little hair comes and it po po pokes through the ground. I just learned it in that two notes. You see that? See, it's all connected. I'm telling you, when you're learning good to connect Hashem, it's always connected. You see that? The koyach atzaymeach, and it sprouts. As the koyach is sprout up. Ligdol atzaymeach ba'avaydasa, and that's what we can do in our avayda. We have to grow, we have to grow, and we have to sprout in our avayda Hashem. The same way, the same way, that's what we have to do. That's the kedusha that you have in the offer. In the land, in the land. That's the condition. The same way the land has the opportunity to grow and to flourish, so too we have the opportunity to grow and to flourish the same way. That I can jump, I can come over any of the obstacles that come my way. It can give me the opportunity to any obstacle that comes my way. Again, I can see through the obstacle. I know that Hashem is sending me this obstacle because he wants to see if I can pass the test. It's a different way to look at the obstacle that comes my way. It's Hashem sending me this, like you just said a moment ago, I have this problem, so I should dive in. The obstacle comes, then I should get closer to Hashem, but if I know that, I win. Not to pay attention to anything in the world. Just follow Hashem. Always know it's all the Rabbeinu Shalom. Anything going on in your life, know it's Hashem. He's there. It's not that person. It's not the situation. It's not that email. It's not that lady you got it. It doesn't matter. It's all Hashem sent you that. Know it's Hashem. When you hear the conversation from someone, when you hear, when you read that email, you get that text, man. You get that fact. Whatever you get, know it's Hashem sending it to you. He's testing you. It's all you, Hashem. That's the idea of the emuna, and that's what makes us grow. That's what makes us sprout. And this is this is lesson in the Kutei Maran. If you want to see this, is a lesson one hundred and fifty-five. A lesson one hundred and fifty-five talks about this idea of the goydel and semeach. That we're working on bechinas. Tefillin is the same idea, the amuna of tefillin. It's all connected to tefillin. Why? Because tefillin is amuna. Why do I wear these boxes? Why do I wear these boxes? Where do these boxes come from? A cow? What did the cow eat? Plants? 
Where did the plants come from? Oh, the dirt. Oh, the earth. Oh, oh, oh. Really, it's all the same thing. And that's why Avram Vinu bought the, the cave specifically from Ephraim. He wanted to be pode. He wanted to redeem the aspect of this offer. He wanted to take over and make it holy so he can grow. So you can have, so, 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 so you can grow, get, get better, closer to Hashem. Ki haklipa kodma lepri. Because we know the concept that the klipa, the, the husk, the peel, comes before the fruit. Right? The orange grows, right? Mm-hmm. First comes the peel. First comes the, 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 the peel of the orange, and the fruit grows inside of it. Right? The fruit doesn't come and then the peel goes around it. Right? A nut. Right? A nut. The shell. And the nut grows into the nut, into the shell. Right? Because the klipa is kaidem lepri. Always the husk. The peel is before the fruit. And therefore, is, is, is this aspect of lengthening life. Right? Because we said, sorry, meinu. Lived her life, kulim l'shavin l'toyf. And all of her years were equal to good. Why were they equal to good? Because she made the best of every day, every situation. She found Hashem. Bechina said muna. She had a muna. All the tzaddikim, they have a muna in HaKadosh Baruch We have a muna in Hashem. Bechina said muna. She had a muna in Hashem. She calls a hepech bechinas Ephron. That's the opposite of the of the idea of Ephron. Offer. Now, nah, lazy. Take it. Eat. Stop. Don't do anything. Just sit there. Be a couch potato. Watch the TV. Right. Third. <laughs> you know they, they they used to say when 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 television came out originally. When television came out originally, it was like a guest that's always there. You have a guest that's always there to entertain you, right? You have a guest sometimes in the house, right? They're comical, right? Nice to have a nice guest. The guest is always there to entertain you. You don't have to feed it. You don't have to feed your guest. And anytime you want, your guest is there. But then they realize that the guest takes over the whole house. (laughs) And it takes over the person's whole life. Right, that's a guest that that's a that's a guest that overstays his welcome. Right, sometimes you have a guest that overstays their welcome. You ever hear that expression? You can't get rid of them, right? They can't get rid of. Them. That's the TV. That's the secular world. That's a, it, it's a guest. It's interesting. You, you, you invite it in, and then it doesn't go out. You can't get rid of it. That was what Avinu was trying to fix the problem. Amravina bought Ephra, he brought the Maras and Machpelah from Ephron to redeem the Atzvus and the Atzlus properties, to take it away from him. And he used, and he used uh, 400 silver bright coins, right? Very bright, very bright mm-hmm. coins, right? The earth is very dirty, this, but no, the Torah says he used bright coins. Mm-hmm. Because he was he was going against it. He wanted to show us that we can always be, we can always have the amuna, and we can always grow, and we can always and we can always find the rabbi and the shlelem and everything. That's what everyone was trying to do for us, which is connected to our tefillin. Shu sitra de ma'isa hepechachayim. Death is the opposite of life, right? Being depressed, right? People that are depressed, they they they're, they're as good as dead. Right? There are people that are seriously sick because of depression. But where, why do people have depression? They don't, they're not connected to Hashem. They don't see Hashem in the situation. So they just get, they wallow in their problem. And they just shut down. They don't know how to deal with it. They can't deal with it. They don't know to talk to Hashem. They're only dreaming, can I be the snake? Let me just have, let me have the dirt. Why do I need this problem? I don't want to have to find this all. No, I want Him. Oh, and he drags him down. The snake drags him down. That's what depression is. Mm. What's the opposite of depression? Hope. Depression means I have no hope. Right? What is depression? The person realizes he can't get out of the situation he's in. 
He's stuck. Where, where, what's the source of depression? Can you explain? What do you think? Yeah, I mean, he just said it. Do you agree with that? Probably. I mean, uh, without going into a psychiatric conversation about whatever chemical disbalance a person might have that leads to that, but the thought process is probably... But the, but the, underlying, the un underlying... The underlying premise of the whole thing, of this whole thing of depression is really a lack of emuna. Because if they realize everything in my life is I'm alive, that means I have all the opportunities in life. I have all the opportunities. We're learning every day we're a new person. Every day I'm mamish, I'm brand new. I'm a brand new person. I have all the opportunities. The same way a baby is born. The baby has, you have all the hopes for that child to grow up to be son. Every day I have that opportunity. That's the opposite of depression. Hope. Depression is I have nothing. It's all, it's all bad, bad, bad. Everything's bad. Everything's falling apart. I can't, I can't, I can't. They shut down. People shut down. It's sad. But we're learning here the opposite. We learn from Avram Avinu buys the Marasa Machpelah from who? From Ephron, Ophar. He takes it from him. And he tells us, no guys, you can grow. You can grow. You can be successful. The same way the vegetables and the fruits grow. You can grow. But how do you grow? Pray to Hashem. The same way the fruits and the vegetables, the rain comes when we pray for rain. Right? When we pray for the rain, the rain comes. So too, so too is I, I, if I want to grow, I have to pray to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. That's why it says, Shachin Aret Urei Amuna. Right? Live in the land and see the Amuna. Live Amuna. Living in Eretz Yisrael is living Amuna. Right? Okay. Uh, okay. It seems like sometimes things can feel hard. And what do you mean? You're not necessarily depressed. I don't know. Uh, like, if Example? I'm watching, well, Example? if I'm watching Netflix. <laughs> okay. The guest, who's in the house. Yeah, the guest, right, yeah. I'm watching the guest. And it seems like that's easy to do. I don't have to do anything. I can just enjoy the guest that's there. And yet over here, there's something that would be better for me to be doing than yeah. watching the movie. Yeah. But it seems like you, you can't move sometimes. You, you just, okay. like you're not really depressed. No, just, no, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. Listen, listen. If, if sometimes a person wants to watch something in order to just relax him for a few minutes, to go back to do it, that's okay too. Again, well, it depends what you're watching. Right. Right? If a person wants to watch a documentary or something, whatever, I, I don't know. I, yeah. Something that, that, that so if, if you're going to use that as the springboard in order to, to advance your closeness to Hashem, so okay, could be it's okay. Every person's different. Every person's different. Well, they have a thing they say now you binge on a show, right? Where you, you know, you no, 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 they used to, they, they, no. They, they used to ask the 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 Alta the Alta Michele. The Alta Mikkelem, he used to give advice to the students in the, in the yeshiva, right? So, you know, and, and all the guys would always talk. Oh, well, what did the rabbi tell? What, what did the rabbi tell you? What did the rabbi tell you? And then they would see that, wait a second. He gave you, an, he gave you a different advice than he gave me, and you got different than him? So they asked the rabbi, what? How does everyone get different advice? Because you're all different. I can't give you one prescription for everybody. I see your soul. I know what you need. Yeah. I know what you need. I gave you your prescription. You can't take his medicine. And he can't take your medicine. It won't work. You need your medicine. He needs his medicine. So that's the same thing we're learning here. You see, you understand? You, you can't. You can't, I, I, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that you should never watch. Because, you know, again, if, if, you're, if you're accustomed to doing that and, 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 and you need to just, it's an outlet. You need something, perhaps you, you, we'll, we'll discuss it. Okay, but again, with, within reason. 
You understand? But again, the, but my goal is I want to see, and, you'll, and you can know yourself if it's working because you'll see how you're advancing. You understand? If you see your, your service to Hashem is going down, you know what? This is, this is not a good recipe. Right? But if you see you're advancing, so then you know it's okay. You have to be your own judge. Right? Okay? Like we said, I just read it again. All of this is the opposite of the, the aspect of Ephron, Ofer. That's the side of death, which is the, which is the opposite of life. He's connected to the impurity of the nachash, the snake. Because again, Ephron, the snake eats offer, right? Atzvus, atzlus, laziness, depression, which is an aspect of mavis, which is an aspect of death. And therefore, originally, and the, in, 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 originally, the Maras Machpelah was held by Ephraim. He had that holy place. That's the Pesach of Gan Eden. He had it, right? The, the, we know that we know that the Maras Machpelah is the Pesach of Gan Eden. That's the opening to Gan Eden. Is in the Maras Machpelah. Ephraim had it. What? <laughs> he has the opening of Gan Eden. Ephraim. Avraham saw that. Aaron says, I need that. I need to take it back from him. I need to redeem it. It has to be redeemed. This is so important to understand. Hashem makes everything always balanced in the world. Everything's always balanced. In other words, whenever there's a higher level of Kedusha, there's going to be a higher level of Tumma. Everything is always balanced in the world. Balanced. It's interesting to note, by the way, that yeah. uh, I don't know if it needs to be made point, but uh, um, every community in the United States, yes. just about, yeah, yeah. From community, yeah, 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 is either infiltrated or surrounded by exact opposite. Okay, what do you mean? What do I mean? It's always inside the ghetto, or almost like inside the ghetto. Well, it's like in Israel too. In Israel, it's no, in what Israel, it is. But then everything outside of Israel no, no, is no. No, no. no I, I, so I, there's something else. You know, I, I noticed a lot of times in America that wherever you have a shul opens up, a church opens up next door. You ever see that? I wouldn't mind. Okay, yeah, sure. I've seen that uh, tw- uh, twice. I've seen that twice. A, sh- a shul opens up. A little steeple opens up. The yeah, next you thing you know, you notice that the from community, like uh, literature communities, are yeah. usually yeah. right next to an absolute nasty. Could be, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, That's yeah. Zeluma, the Zeluma, 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 Zeluma. I lived in New York. New York City? No, I lived in, in Woodmere. What was outside? A, a nice park to walk for Jews? Well, yeah, well, Wood, Woodmere is really truly a ghetto now. Thank you. It's truly a ghetto. You know, why is that? Because, because, uh, the, because the prices of real estate yeah. shut through a sky. Yeah, yeah. Why in Oak Park? People want to live in Oak Park. Why? Because it's a, a, a gurnish in terms of okay, material, okay, expensive, and yet they flock. Why? They were because, because of this. Yeah, Zeluma Ze also Alikim. Hashem makes everything balanced in the world. Ah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So therefore the Kedusha, because again, the Mara Samach Pela is the Pesach Ganeden, but on the aspect it was Ephron, the other side, Ephron. The, the, the impurity, the Nachash, which is the opposite of the Mara Samach Pela. That's why Ephron had to own the Mara Samach Pela first, but Amravina took it away from him. He bought it from him. Mm. He bought it from him. Vavram Shu Roish Lamaminim. And look, who is who is the one that who is Avram Avinu? He was the head of, of the Maminim. He was the head of the believers, right? Avram Avinu found Hashem. Zokalohitsi Hakidusha Hagavoya Hazois Shu Maras Hamachpela Meyefra. He was the with his emuna, 
Because Avavina is a Muna, he can use his Muna to take away the Maras of Mapela from Ephra through a Muna. That's what we need. Again, that's the opposite of the snake. Hashem says, snake, I don't want to hear from you. Don't pray to me, I don't want to hear from you. Eat dirt. You'll never run out of dirt. No matter what happens, the snake will never run out of food. Why? I don't want to hear from you. But Hashem uh. says, I want to hear from you, my dear child. I want to hear from you. I just so pray for food, pray for water, pray for... Pray for everything. Pray for everything. But the snake doesn't have to pray for anything because I don't want to hear from him. He can just eat dirt and be happy the rest of his life. Without God. Without God. God doesn't want him. That's why he's cursed yeah, to eat I just, dirt. I just kind of got that. Uh, okay. Yeah? He's not necessarily happy for the rest of life. So he's, he's, he's surviving. He's surviving. He'll survive. He'll survive. He'll survive. Self-sufficient. He'll survive. Self-sufficient. Self-sufficient surviving. Well, he's not self-sufficient. He's surviving. He still needs the dirt. Okay, he Avram Zakha le Zikna de Kedusha, because Avram Avinu merited to have the Zikna de Kedusha. What do we say the Zikna de Kedusha is? The old holiness, always new. He gets older, but he's always he's fresh. fresh. Always look as it is Avedis Hashem with a freshness, a newness. You take out your tefillin in the morning. Oh, wow, look at these tefillin. Try to put them on like the first day you put them on in your life. Try to put them on. It's new. Today's new. I didn't do this today. If I put it on twice in one day, maybe. But uh, hey, today I'm a brand new person. This is a new mitzvah. I never did this mitzvah. Hmm. That newness, that's Avram Avinu. This instance of this mitzvah is, is brand new. Yes. No, 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 no. This instance, I'm saying that the, mi- the, the whole yeah. mitzvah is brand new because I'm new today. So I'm, I'm, if I'm a new person today, this new person that I am didn't put on tefillin yet. He wasn't here for that. Yeah, if you, if you no, feel, no, that, if you feel that you're the same old guy, I'm the same no, old guy. Nothing, nothing changes. changes. So then, yes, the same old tefillin, the same old. But if I'm new, then my tefillin is new. If I'm new, my whole outlook of life is new. My whole aspect of life is new. Hashem recreates the world every year. I'm a chadish betuvay b'chol yom tamid masay b'reish. Hashem makes the world new every single day, every single moment. Right. It's recreated. That means you're new. You're not the same guy you were when you walked in here. And you're not going to be, we're not, none of us are. We're always right. new. That's why we can always be happy. Because we're new, we have life. Life is the greatest thing. It's the greatest gift God gives us is life. We're alive. Be happy. Why should I be depressed? Why don't you need the snake for? Because <laughs> it's hard to understand. Yeah. What is so givaldic about praying to Hashem? Why oh. does he need it? No, he doesn't. He does. Why Hashem do doesn't need it? it. Hashem doesn't need it. Why our... do we need it? Why, Why do because we, we get anything we want through prayer? Really confusing. What 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 get, what's confu- what, what are you confused about? Let's understand. The whole, the, the whole uh, the purpose, the whole structure. Okay. What's so amazing about? I'll explain it. Okay, okay. I'll about. explain it. I'll explain it to you. Adam Rishon came to the world, and there was nothing there. Medra says there was nothing there. Adam Rishon said to Hashem, "Hey, what? Where is everything? What is this?" So it started to rain. And then things started to sprout real quickly. Right. The trees started to grow. All about prayer. Hashem wants prayer. He wants us to pray. We make things happen through our prayer. Every time you pray, you create angels. Every word of prayer is another angel. The angels are there and the angels help us. We don't understand this. We can't <laughs> see it. We can't see it. No, but what's the bottom, what's the final goal? The final... The final goal is to, because I, I, okay. I pray for something because Hashem makes me feel that I need that thing. You understand? Because okay. Hashem yeah. wants me to pray for that thing. Why? I'll explain it to you. It's very simple. Yeah. Well, before Hashem created the world, He knew that you were going to be alive. And He knew that, that in, in the year Tavshim Pei Gimel, you knew that you're going to sit one morning, you're going to want to have yourself a coffee. So you already figured out 
which coffee beans yeah. are going to be for you today that you're going to have in your cup Where's with which milk? cow, which, which cow, which, which dirt, which, which mineral, which raindrop, right. which farmer, which land. Everything was already figured out. But you need, your, you want your coffee. Hey, Hashem, can I please have my coffee today? That's how you get it. Which is why I started saying Shako with a completely different understanding. Because oh. this is all crazy. It could have been mamash like dirt, right? Yes. You, you, you leak the floor and, or, okay, without craziness, plug your fingers into an electric socket. And you like get Tesla, food. Right? And you, right. And all of a sudden you're able to go. Like what? Like Tesla, whatever. The car. <laughs> like uh, your phone. And all of a sudden you're ready. Tesla right? works like that. No, I can tell you, is, yes. We get the smell, the look, the taste, the after. Why? So we can thank burn. Hashem. Thank it's Hashem. Fat, whatever, thank right? Hashem. So that's pretty amazing. Pray that, uh, to Hashem. That's what it's all about. We enjoy all sorts of different things that didn't have to be enjoyable whatsoever. Exactly. But that's part of the blessing Hashem gives us. He wants us to thank Him. <laughs> he wants us to ask, it for, ask for it, praise Him, and then thank you. That's what Hashem wants. So That's that, how the world so works. The answer to my question is really like everything else today. Is the opposite. It's the opposite. Meaning, if the world exists in the way it is, mm -hmm. where not asking Hashem for help is a bad idea, a, a, a sad situation. Yes. And there's got to be some kind of reason and, uh, and, uh, and a point to it. And, and what is that? Hashem understand. wants us to dive it. Whatever the heck that means. He, Hashem wants us to recognize Him in the world. See, Hashem, you, you ever play the game Hi Go Seek? Probably, yeah. Right? The kids love that game, right? You ever see how happy they are when they find the guy? Sure. Right? You find, you find, you find, oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> He's a big, that's Hashem. Hashem hides in the world. And he wants us to find him. He made that game. We're playing that game. There's got to be a much deeper reason. For no, because Hashem, no, Hashem wants us to find him through all of this other stuff. That's why Hashem made the world with all the other stuff. And then what? To and then what? You found the gay kid. Now you're happy. Find Hashem. You're happy. Okay, so then, then they kill yourself because you found him good enough. You kill will never yourself. be able to find Hashem twice. No, you find him again wants. today. You play the game again. Play the game again. Keep playing the game. So, you ever play chess? Chess. Why? Because I can't stand the dynamics of that game. Okay. Yeah, yeah, no, but I understand what you're saying. Yeah. People play a game. They play the game. Yeah, they like the game. It's a different uh, combination. Right? The kids like I, my my grades like playing this game Uno. They like they play again and again and again and again and again and again and again. <laughs> they keep going. That's the game, Hashem. Hashem made that. He wants us to find him every day. Find him. Thank him. This is what we're here for. I know, again, Western culture teaches us the opposite. It's not, but, but we're learning here, we're, we're learning here to train ourselves, to retrain ourselves, to, to see purpose in our life, to see purpose, to thank Hashem. Like Rabbi, Ka uh, Rabbi Katz said. Yeah, what did Rabbi Katz say? Or rather, he repeated after somebody else. I'm kidding. What did Rabbi Katz say? He said that. We sometimes, we were discussing Birkat uh, Amazon yeah. and uh, related halachot. So he said that <clears throat> sometimes people won't eat bread because you have to say that long bracha at the end. He said to the king, they would, <laughs> would eat bread so they oh, can. Oh, they can make that bracha. Yes. That bracha hey, end. beautiful. And that's the, that's the funny thing. Uh, men think yes. the purpose of a marital relationship is uh, self-satisfaction. That's and right. While Judaism says, no, what? Uh, not at all about you. Not about it's you. It's opposite about you. Exactly. It's about, uh, let, let's just let's yeah. finish. Let's just finish. Okay. Yeah. And Avram Avinu came old in his days. He became old. But what does it mean? Yomim. In his days? In his years? Avram Zokim Baba Shonim. Why does he say by Yomim? Because every day Avram Avinu was new. Every single day. Avram Avinu, he may have gotten older, 
but his perspective of life was always fresh, full of vigor, full of encouragement. That's the tzaddik. He gets older, but he gets sharper. And he sees things better in a more clear way. And he looks at life in a better way, in a new way. That's the tzaddik. Ki Avram hu arishon shehisi kedushas Eretz Yisrael. Avram Vinu was the first one that attained the holiness of the land of Israel. This land. And this is what the, the, the left is missing. They don't understand there's a kedusha in this land. You understand? It's a land. So what do we need it for? Well, I need this piece. We don't need that piece. No, there's holiness in the whole land. They don't understand that. That's the whole, that's what they're missing. If they would understand that there's holiness in this land, they believed in holiness. And they, be- who is they? The left. Okay. The right. Yeah. No, we're staying in Brooklyn because who said we need to come? Because. <laughs> We're not talking about those guys, okay. We're not talking about those guys. Those guys think they live in Israel, in Brooklyn. They think it's Israel. And look what happened in Germany. I know, I know, I know, I know. I keep telling the guys, I keep begging the guys. What if it never happens in the United States like it happened in Germany? It's happening. It's okay? No, it's happening worse. Do you know that the intermarriage rate now in the United States is over 70%. It's over 70%. Do you understand what that means? Well, That's a worse say. Holocaust going on in America today yeah. than had happened in Nazi Germany. And if Chaim Rabinovitz's children are all married very happily to Jews, they can't live in Brooklyn? They're married to, to, to Jews, today. but it's, I, I guarantee you, there's no family in America that's going to sustain without intermarriage. It's impossible. It's impossible. It's impossible. They won't sustain with They will they will have intermarriage in their family. You stay there. Okay. They will. Just, yes. That's what's going. Seventy you know what seventy percent is? Not seven percent. Seventy percent. It's right. probably even higher than that. That was years ago they said seven. Maybe it's even higher now. That's the worst Holocaust going on today in America than happened in, in Nazi Germany. You know why? Because all of those people that died in Nazi Germany died as Kedoshim. They were holy. These other people, what's going to be with them? Hashem Yishma. But Hashem has a plan for everybody, so don't worry. A lot of people are very, very surprised when Mashiach comes. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Shubachina Semuna, Shayadei Ze Zoichin Lekol. Through Emuna, you can have everything. You want anything in your life? You have to strengthen your Emunah. It's all about Emunah. Believe in Hashem. Pray to Hashem. That's what it's all about. And therefore the first place that was acquired in Eretz Yisrael, the first place, what was it? Mar <laughs> The first acquisition that took place. Huh? That's it. Because with that you can have a lengthened life. You can work on taking your day. Right? We learned it, a beautiful concept. Take time in your day and focus on Hashem during the time. That's how you lengthen your time. You lengthen your time. You make your time count when you connect to Hashem. Every time you connect to Hashem during the day, you make that time eternal. You take that time from being fleeting, you turn it to be eternal. You make more eternity out of your life. You make your life, you lengthen your time. Chayim Arukim. She'eim bechines ha This is the beginning, the, the idea, the kedusha of the tefillin. She'zoichin ha'yedei emunah. That the more emunah you have, the more you'll appreciate your tefillin. And you see these beautiful concepts, the tefillin are called Kiryat Arba. There's four parshas, four parshas. Kiryat Arba, Maras Hamach Pela, Avram, Adam and Chava, Avram and Sora, Yitzchak and Rivka, Yaakov and Leah. Wow, my tefillin? That's all of my tefillin. Chazay Iki Kedusha Seret Yisrael, that's the main holiness of the land of Eretz Yisrael. Emuna. This is the whole lesson. It's all about Emuna. Shaykh and Oretz Urei Emuna. Live in the world, live in the land, and see Amunah. See Hashem. 
I'm telling you, we live here and we mamish can see Hashem. Baruch Hashem. We see the, the haftacha coming true. We see it on a daily basis. Any questions? Yes, it's about Amuna. It seems that I may not recognize when I'm not having Amuna. But that, that, that's, that's called, that's called Hester Panam. Hester Panam is when you, when, when Hashem, when you have a, when, 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 when Hashem's hidden from you. Right. That's when you don't feel you have Emunah. But then you have to remember the lesson. That's what you need to remember this lesson. I don't think, okay, so I'll, I'll give you one example. I'm, I'm outside with my dog at four in the morning, 420. Okay. And 420? He's, he's off a leash. And he gets to go where he wants, and generally he hangs around. I can see him. One morning, I we needed to go. I need to get back to the house so I can get to shul. So I said, uh, and I, I look, I sent him in, sent him in, you know, calling. He didn't even come. I said, Hashem, would you please help me find Cinnamon because I need to get to shul, and uh, it's time. Two minutes later, Cinnamon shows up. I mean, yeah. so I have a in, yeah. in, 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 in. And very, Hashem is showing you that. Look, look. Yes, yes, he's showing me. However, but there are some places where I feel like I'm not realizing. It's like praying. But now you, but now you realized it. No, no, no. But now you just realized it. So you didn't have a No, but, no, no, but no but that was just a test. That was a test. I want to go to shul, but now the dog's not here. Oh, uh, oh, Hashem, please, can you help me with this? That was the yeah. whole point. That's I understand. So I have to it. pray for these things. Pray. But sometimes I don't know that I'm, there's a dog missing. I, I mean, it's like Yes. Sometimes... But, but you're I'm learning. Not, but, not, but again, the same, like maybe I've the same way. With my whole life Mordecai, so Mordecai, the same way we learned just a few minutes ago about the Rambam says, if you want to accustom yourself to giving to Dukkah, so if you're going to give $10, don't give ten dollars to one person. Give one dollar to ten people, because yeah. then you train yourself. So you're doing the same thing. Let's uh, let's take that lesson and plug it in here. Train yourself each time with each thing. Right. Think of Hashem each time, not in general, on each yeah. thing. No, I understand, but sometimes I people like, people say like this: If I do this now, is this going to make Hashem angry at me? Or is this Hashem going to make Hashem proud? Is Hashem going to be proud if I do this now? Or is Hashem going to be upset yeah, at me? If I ask that question, that'll make me aware of it. Huh? Well, that's, but that's a good question to ask. Yeah. What I'm about to do now, is this going to make Hashem proud of okay, me? Okay. So or is this going to make Hashem angry at me? Or, 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 or he'll, he'll be disappointed in me? I want to make Hashem proud. So you need to ask yourself that question every time you uh, make that's a decision it. to do something different. That's it. Okay? Is Hashem, yes, okay. Hashem, are you going to be proud if I do this? If I, okay. you will, I'm going to go ahead and do it. And if if not, not, I maybe I don't want to do it. Right. Or maybe sometimes I'll say I'm doing it anyway. I don't know. Then I'll make tshuva. And sometimes if you don't yeah. want to do something, you just go do it anyway because you know it's the right thing to do. There you go. All right, everyone, shkoyach, kol tuf.